Okay, on this video today, we have already assembled and installed the Do More Grinder on the lathe. We've got the lathe set up with the part so it holds the vice jaws tight. And we've assembled the wheel and I've already dressed the wheel on this Do More Grinder. So now we're ready to actually grind in the jaws on the lathe. I'm going to move the camera around so you can see it actually doing the grinding. Okay, I'm going to reposition the camera so you can see a better shot of the grinding wheel on the Do More Grinder. You always want to use low speed when it comes to actually grinding, and you want to go in reverse so that you grind against the wheel, not with the wheel when you're using the Do More Grinder. So the first thing you do is you turn the lathe. Get that going at an average slow speed. 30 is a pretty good number for RPMs. When you turn on this, do more grinding. You crank in about 2,000, about and a half 2,000. But in this case, we're actually cranking out because we're grinding the inside of the actual jaw. When you turn on the power key, we got the power feed set at about 20,000 for revolution. You always start the Dumo grinder off the part and allow it to feed onto the surface you're grinding. You never start the grinder on your part. You leave a gouge in your part. So I always start a little bit further away from the actual part I'm grinding so it gives time for your your actual saddle to get adjusted to the right speed rate as it goes into the bar. And you see there it's actually touching all three of those jaws that are on the three jaw cut. The reason why it stopped grinding is there's a little bit of divot between each one. It goes past the divot and it'll start grinding on the three jaws again. I will pause the tape to allow me to get closer in to show you the end of the actual cut. Okay, it's getting close to the end of the cut. Always remember to set your X and your Z axis to zero so you can work towards that. So the first thing to do is take the power feed out, finish it. Spark out. You turn it off. You go off RPM to your machine. You crank your grinder back out. You turn it off. You do more grinding. And that's how you grind the chuck jaws in on the lathe.